What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we're going to have a how to guide to set up your Gold Shell LB box, which is, of course, a library credits miner, LBC for short, and that will get us started. I'm, that's the hope, at least, for this entire setup, right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. To support the channel, click the join button below the video and you will get access to our privately hosted rocket chat. Selecting the $1.99 option will get you access and after that you need to head over to the membership tab, scroll down, and expand out your membership perks. Find the section for connecting on social media and in that section there will be a secret registration URL to join rocket chat where you can sign up to enjoy talking with other cryptocurrency enthusiasts and miners without spammers, scammers, or bots. Welcome back. So we are just going to go ahead and get you set up right away with the easiest way to get a wallet. And that is going to be by creating an account on Odyssey. What Odyssey is, is basically a front end web interface for library. Library, if you guys aren't familiar, is a video hosting platform that is run on the blockchain and therefore also helps out creators that basically want to do content that may be outside of the realm for YouTube, etc but however still has all of the features there to go. You can definitely check out the Odyssey page for Son of Attack down in the description. Be sure to use the affiliate link or referral link, I should say, not affiliate link, down in the description below as well, so we both get a little kickback. Now, I've only been on library for, you know, the better part of maybe six months, and it's slowly building up, so any views over there is greatly appreciated but once you get that set up you're going to be able to go ahead and click the top right here which is your library and then you will basically have an option here to click receive and this will be your address for the library credits and short for that is going to be lbc the next thing that you're going to need to do is go ahead and head on over to your miner. You're gonna get it unboxed and then you are going to hook up a six pin power and an ethernet cable. So this is a six pin PCIe power. You can get basically a basic power supply from anywhere, pretty much a 450 watt or 400 watt from uh, something like Best Buy, etc. will work. Now it does come with one. However, that is not for the US, so you'll have to do something else. The other option, depending on how many you're running, etc., is to head on over to Parallel Miner, which I'll leave a link for down in the description as well, and purchase one of their server PSUs with the breakout boards. Now in my setup, what I do have, of course, are large 220 volt server power supplies that then have breakout boards that are running multiple ASICs, especially when we're talking about the gold shells because these are more meant for the home. If you're gonna be running it for the home, you may wanna look for some other options as well. I think gold shell has some available, but I, I can't be positive. It looks like you pretty much just get what it comes with and I believe that connector is for China. Anyways. I'm not exactly sure it doesn't work. So unfortunately that will be an added cost to these when running them in the US. Okay, so you've plugged in that, you've plugged in the ethernet cable. What do you do next? Well, that one's gonna be pretty simple as well. You're gonna go ahead and head on over to advanced-ip-scanner.com. Links will once again be in the description and you're gonna download Advanced IP Scanner. This is gonna help you find, of course, the miner on the network. So the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is just go ahead and install Advanced IP Scanner and run it. So the application will look like this. You'll want to make sure that you are on the correct, of course, subnet. So in this case, this is gonna be a pretty standard subnet, 192.168.1.1 through 254. And you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click scan. At this point, it's gonna scan the network for all of the devices on your network currently. So you'll give it a little bit, and then once it is found, we'll go ahead and give you guys an idea of what it'll look like, because what we wanna do is get into the web GUI to control, of course, the miner. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll down 
at some point what you should see is some sort of drop down that will give you you know access to different things files whatever it may be what you can see down here is that we have an unknown so we're going to go ahead and click down on that and then it'll have the HTTP address. You can double click it from there and it's gonna open up the web GUI for the gold shell. Now we're currently already mining, but that's okay because we have everything kind of at default settings. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is up here in the top right, and let me get this shrunk down a little bit for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and relock it. When you get into this, for the first time, it's gonna have a little button up here to unlock it. So you're gonna to have to click unlock. It's gonna take you to the unlock miner page and the initial password is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're just gonna type that in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then you're gonna go ahead and unlock the miner. And at this point, you are ready to go for basically configuring the miner itself. However, there's some things that you may wanna take a look at. Of course, you can IP these if you wish to a static IP address. We're gonna leave it on DHCP because this will be getting moved to the farm. And then you can change the password. So if you wanna change the password, the current password is gonna be the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you can put in whatever you like for your current password and then at that point you can go ahead and click change and it will say change successfully and at this point that's what you will use to unlock the miner you will have to re-unlock the miner with the new password if you forget the password don't worry about it you can go ahead and reset the device the device itself will have a reset button on it if you've forgotten the password. If you have it unlocked on a browser already, you can just also come down here and do the reset to default under the system tab. So now that we have the password set up, let's get into mining. We're gonna click over to the miner. Now this particular model does not have anything but hash rate mode. So unfortunately it is gonna run a little louder than say the gold shell doge miner in the silent mode right so just keep that in mind for this particular model maybe there'll be firmware later that goes ahead and allows you to do anything do something different you have your library credits down here and then this is where your pool settings are going to be so at this point you're only mining library you're going to click add for of course adding a pool and if you're running brave browser you will need to take the shields down and if you're running any antivirus, there is some additional information that it downloads that will be blocked by antivirus. So you need to add an exception and it will really be up to you or just pause protection. It really depends on your particular setup. So that's kind of what the caveats here. Now there are multiple pools. You're gonna wanna test ping to all the pools. We have videos on how to do that. So go ahead and check that video out for mining pool latency. And we currently are on Z pool because we have the best latency to them and they are they have located in the US as an option. So at this point, if you are on Z pool, you're gonna go ahead and go to the stratum generator. You're gonna select your location. You're gonna select the algorithm, which is gonna be the LBRY. And you're gonna go ahead and check zap and LBC. And then you're gonna get your payout address. Your address, like we said, is gonna be over here on your Odyssey dashboard. And you're gonna just go ahead and type in that address right there. And then for the currency, which is being a little wonky, let's see, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and scroll down and look for LBC, because that will be library credits. And then down here will be all the information that you need to post into the dashboard for your gold shell. So at this point, what we're gonna do is we are just going to copy the stratum here, leaving the stratum portion out and type that into the URL box, making sure nothing's in front of it because the stratum TPC, TCP protocol is selected up here. Your username is going to be your wallet address. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that out, put that right here. And then your password is going to be this C equals LBC and zap equals LBC. And we're going to go over here and put it into there. So I'm not sure exactly what happened here. Let's go ahead and we accidentally wiped it somehow. Okay. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and move the miner off so we can get this all added in. It seems to be resetting it when we switch tabs, so that's a note for you guys. So we're going to go type that in, and that in, and that in, and then you'll hit the apply button. And at this point, it will add it in. We already currently have one, so if you want to remove one, you'll just highlight it and click remove and then it should just continue to mine. At this point, you'll be able to go over to your tab and monitor it as it mines. Now it looks like we've kind of gone down. Let's go back and double check. It is active. We may have gotten rid, there it is, it's spinning up. So because we did all that, it's kind of reset everything. So at this point, you can go back to the Z pool and you can copy your address scroll up to the top at the top bar you can paste in your address and click the search button and this is where all of your mining information will be displayed you'll have of course your earnings your seven day earnings the payouts what you've earned etc and then once it's paid out you'll have the option to of course go and receive it here so the configuration for the gold shells has always been easy. I wanted to go over it to make sure you guys are aware of how it functions here. And my preference right now, as far as mining pools go, is going to be essentially, bu -bu -bu -bu, let me pull them up. Let's pull this up. So at this point, the two pools that have anonymous is going to be the coin mine and the Z pool. Z pool has a lower percentage rate, but is prop instead of PPL and S. And then of course you have the rest of these that you can take a look at as well. We will go over, of course, we went over in the review, the profitability, et cetera, for this. So definitely go check out the review separate from the setup guide. If you're interested in purchasing one, I do not have an affiliate or a referral link. So, you know, just give me props and likes and uh, hit the notification bell if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.